Eyes on one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? And a warm welcome to the Zignal Iduna Park. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Hertha Berlin. Cheers, Derek. Yeah, really excited about this one. Looking forward to some entertaining end-to-end -end football. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, they don't come much better than this lad. A real handful. Back fours all over the country. I've had a torrid time off him this season. From minute one to minute 90. Good luck, lads. Glad it's them and not me. the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund Roman Burki gets the nod in goal Mats Hummel starts with Dayo Upamecano in central defence and the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition a look at the Hertha starting lineup. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Great vision to switch the play. Jaden Sancho Pavel Karajabek on the ball and crossed in there well far too much on that particular cross possession given away unfortunately but it all went to plan for Borussia Dortmund last time out against Bayern how do you think this game is going to go for them Lee well Derek a lot of hard work done away from home a clean sheet to boot as well 1-0 might be a bit more challenging today but I think they'll win the game when Doozy Stark now and players waiting in the centre And the keeper there to catch it, under no real pressure. Dahoud. Delightful pass. It comes to nothing in the end. Moving forward effectively. And diving to thwart him. Well, that was the chance to take the lead and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. And firing it into the area. Holland, tremendously strong in the tackle. It's a 
successfully cut out. Marco Reus. Poor pass under no real pressure. And Dortmund regaining possession. And given away by Dortmund. And a throw in it's going to be. And he cuts in from the wing. And he could really get at the opposition. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here's the replay, and the keeper knows that near post should be his, but he left a gap and he got punished. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, back on the way here, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not Dortmund can find the right reply. Jaden Sancho. Dahoud. Marco Reus. Holland. And slipped through beautifully. Promising attack, this. Dahoud. Well read to put an end to that attack. Matteo Guendouzi. Malassia. Tremendous intuition to win it back. The visitors are struggling with possession, really. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Well, they've lost the ball. And a goal has been scored in the Schalke match, I'm hearing. Alan McAnally can tell us more. Oh, in with a chance! Really important tackle. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Jaden Sancho. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Has someone to play it to. And that's a straightforward stop. Well, we did have to cut off Alan McAnally for understandable reasons. Just to confirm, Schalke did score in that game, and it's level now at one goal apiece. Zeefauk. Piontek. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Marco Reus. And taken away. Luca Bacchio. Now can they make something? Oh, big chance! Could be! And it's come off the keeper! But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Sancho. That's a useful cross. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky.
but certainly allowing their opponent can he put it away it's still alive well nothing untoward happened now let's see what they can do here foiling them effectively real danger fractionally offside And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Moving forward effectively. And diving to thwart him. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. That's a useful cross. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down. And he... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Mateus Cunha. And a strong tackle. And that pass could be troublesome. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, his angles were all right. His reactions were superb. Great goalkeeping. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Well, this should be a really absorbing Bundesliga match coming up on EA TV. It's Hertha facing Hoffenheim. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. Holland. Mateus Cunha. And news of a goal at the Bay Arena. Let's hear about it from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for the visitors. 54 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. And very deftly cut out. Oh, they've lost it. Well, they might be onto something. Surely the equaliser. And that's it. A goal for Borussia Dortmund to square things here. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. He causes havoc. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him. Gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. He 
Even Steven won a piece on this match. Matteo Guendouzi. And here is Malassia. Toussaint. And Sam now. Alert defending. Good pressure high up the pitch. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Space and time for the cross. Now to the front post. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. And let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Schalke game. Alan? It's a second goal for Schalke. 61 minutes played. 2-2. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Jean-Pierre and Sam. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. That's not a bad ball. And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, here's the replay, and it's a great ball into the danger area. And that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration. It's a lovely finish. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. And it will be interesting to see how Borussia Dortmund respond to that setback. Dahoud and Witzel with it it's a good Dortmund move in the making crossing possibilities and deliver towards the back post and you need your defender to take charge So, 20 minutes to go. Royce lost possession. They've won back possession. Jaden Sancho. Can he play it in? Well, he took care of it defensively. Matthew Leckie and a goal has been scored in the Schalke match I'm hearing Alan McAnally can tell us more it's a third goal for Wolfsburg 76 minutes played 3-2 Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse and an astute piece of defending this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity all hands on deck. And played in. A deft clearance. Well, chasing this game, but the corner might help them. The noise is great. Can the players react to that? Can they equalise? They will now make use of their substitutes bench.
Corner fired in by Rice. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Well, nicely cut out. Well, these Dortmund fans are demanding a response from their players. They're getting one, to be fair. They've not been at their best today. They could get another chance. This could be the equaliser. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Great vision to switch the play. Well, possibilities in the centre. Making sure nothing came of it. Marco Rice read it magnificently and intercepted. Superbly read and executed. He's got the right idea with that pass. And still an opportunity. Jaden Sancho. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible save. Play. What a time to score, Derek. Kept his cool so late in the game. Easy to snatch at that one. Is there time for a winner? Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. So there goes the final whistle, and both teams having to accept a draw. Lee, from the Dortmund point of view, what did you think? Well, Derek, they've fired in another couple of goals again today. They just can't stop scoring this lot. It must be a lot of fun to play in this team. Mind you, not a lot of fun watching their defending today. Great game, though. Moving forward effectively. And diving to thwart him. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. That's a useful cross. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down. And he... Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. Oh, they've lost it. Well, they might be onto something. Surely the equaliser. And that's it. A goal for Borussia Dortmund to square things here. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. That's not a bad ball.
incredible scenes.